Hello YouTube, it's the flame in the game. That's right, it's Brian with Phoenix Fire Gaming and today jumping back into the world of Ace Combat 7. Just a little recap. War has broken out across the continents. The space elevator has been captured by Eruja and we need to get it back under our control. I did just purchase that sweet MiG-29 as well as some upgrades so I will be using that jet in this mission. So we will see if I can keep my A rank streak alive. As always, click that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. So as you can see, I bought the MiG-29. Bing! MiG-29, yes. The MiG-29A Fulcrum. Ah. So here we're just gonna go with our with these for now select parts all this new stuff I'm so happy all right so we'll increase our acceleration roll stability is always good fire concentration always good Works too. Okay. Let's launch. Mage Squadron aircraft preparations complete. Ah, this will happen. Sometimes you'll have to do it. Uh, you can skip it if you want. I'm going to actually try. Trigger. Maintain your current approach. Fifty meters. Squadron, this is the situation. Gollum and the other base squadrons already joined forces and are engaged. You guys will arrive right in the middle of the action. Mage Squadron, eliminate all bandits in the current airspace. We have the upper hand, but that doesn't mean we can ease up. Good luck. Mage 1, Wilco. Mage 1 to Gollum 1, thank your lucky stars. Looking good, Mage Squadron. Keep up that pressure. Trigger time to show the other guys that we get wet wild and do dirty, dirty things. Once you hit one of them, stick to them like glue. Don't let them out of your sights, even in the clouds. And so, your first hunting season begins. Mage 2, banded down. Excellent work. Missile away. Breaking. They got me. Three remaining. 
sign of bandits. You're in the clear. I haven't even broken a sweat. This would be crazy to pick a fight with us. A rabbit dog would know better. Missile incoming! Evade! Break! Break! What the hell? Caution! Missile! Caution! A large aircraft is approaching. All aircraft stay alert. Oh, good God. Oh, this is some Independence Day shit. I am not looking forward to this. We just learned that Erusia is utilizing the arsenal bird. Those bastards. They had that thing combat ready this whole time.
Our UAV is spotted. Gargoyle Squadron, they might cut off your retreat. Got one in my sights. Miss. That's a miss. My status is fine. I'm This is Gargoyle 1. Leading Operation Airspace with Column 2. Retreating aircrafts. Prepare for combat. It's a bogey. Gargoyle 1, Golem 2, engage now. Attack. I'm working on it, I'm working on it. That is insane.
Yeah, I'm not the best landing person. I knew you'd be back. Stand by for further orders. Be ready for your next sorting. Unfortunately, the two-front offensive was a failure. The aircraft carrier Kestrel II was sunk during the attack on Farbanti. Carrier-borne aircraft mistakenly bombed urban areas, and this has turned public opinion in neutral countries against us. Our own forces also suffered heavy losses. If it weren't for a few extraordinary fighters, many of us wouldn't have made it home. The situation is grim. We have precious little time, however. We have to get to the space elevator. A rank! <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna get it, but I did. I am happy with that. Probably because I got those propellers. <laughs> Alright, next mission. Here he comes. looking worse. Thank God he has his granddaughters here to help him out. They're sisters, 15 and 10. Engaging the enemy in combat so we could use his physiological data to improve the drones had always taken a toll on Mihai's body. But today, he was really showing his age. The drones we based on his data were being taken down at a faster rate now compared to when the war began. When Mihai found that out, he insisted on flying to the front lines to see it for himself. Sometimes he could be so stubborn. His age wasn't the only thing affecting his health. Over the years, flying at high altitudes for prolonged stretches of time had ravaged and poisoned his body. But he was a man of grit. Today, after 28 years, he saw combat again. If his flight suit still wasn't good enough to protect him, I can't imagine how many G's he hit today during the battle. As a pilot, he exceeds all our expectations. It's going to take a bit more tweaking before our drones can match his skill. How penal is this penal unit, you ask? This place is a shithole. If you took the stink of all the corruption in the world, then corralled it all in one place, that would give you a pretty good idea of what the air smells like around here. We got all kinds of critters, too. Everything from flea-ridden guards, rabid dogs, and a mechanic doing a stretch for life. I can't forget the rats. Yeah, we got those. And some pilots who got their wings clipped, too. One's a great pilot, but a lousy thief. One's a gambler with no luck and one's an anarchist with no balls. Their job here was to rev the engines on the fake runways. The idea was for Arusha's spy satellite to pick up the heat sig. Even though there weren't any real fighters here, it looked like it on their infrared. I bet you're wondering, if Arusha lost the war, how come they still have a spy satellite? Because someone over there was smart enough to train a bunch of computer nerds to hack into half of Osea's satellites. That's how come. Every now and again, I'd try to bust out. And every single time, those damn dogs would drag me right back. When I was in my cell, I'd hear this voice coming from the guards room. It was the Erujian princess rallying her people on the Erujian national broadcast. All us prisoners had become big fans of hers. You want to hear something funny? The guards were big fans too. I swear to God, every time she was on the air, they'd turn up the volume on the radio and sit there listening. I could see how someone like her could win the hearts and minds of soldiers and workers alike. When the princess said something, you could tell she meant every word. Lately, she'd been having more fun with her speeches, and that made her seem even more charming. You could say her charm was like a virus. 
Whenever she'd point out stuff that was wrong with Osea, the prisoners in here went nuts. Hell, if anyone knew how messed up Osea was, it was the prisoners. They'd shout, burn Osea down. No way am I just gonna sit here and rot away in this hellhole. Dark blue. Instead of building fake-ass planes to trick Arusia, I'm gonna build one that'll really take off. You can count on that. As proved by the failure of our previous strategy, the Arsenal Birds have bolstered the enemy's anti-air network. This will be difficult to overcome. However, we still need to get swiftly to the space elevator no matter what it takes. Someone there is counting on us. The hero of the Circumpacific War and the man who spearheaded the construction of the space elevator. Osea's former president, Mr. Harling. Mr. Harling was inspecting the elevator when the war broke out. He's been classified as missing since the elevator was taken over by the Erujian forces. However, according to the latest intel, a military officer accompanying Mr. Harling hid him inside the facility. Both are waiting for a chance to escape. Enemy anti-air radar network has been set up around the space elevator. It's likely a large squadron would be detected. We'll send a single aircraft through the network and send in a rescue team soon after. A number of anti-air radars have been set up around the space elevator. However, our reconnaissance suggests their network is weakest along the southeastern coast of Selatapura. So we can elude the enemy's observation. There are a lot of rain clouds this time of year. Flying through the clouds will enable us to stay hidden from their radar. If you happen to be detected by their radar, we will be forced to abort the mission. The lone pilot will head up this strategy as you, Trigger. After you bust through, secure the rescue craft's landing zone by taking out the anti-air weapons. Gollum and others will arrive shortly for support. Provide escort for Mr. Harling's craft after rendezvous. Good luck out there, everyone. Well now, ain't this fun? Ah, three SAM sites and 12 AA guns. Still got a ways to go before I can grab one, but we'll work on it. Hopefully I can stay hidden in the clouds. Okay, 
You're heading up the Harling rescue mission. The success of this mission depends on you. Good luck. Trigger, you got two directions you can take up here. Just go with your gut. Don't worry, we're watching over you. Progress, Trigger. You're currently halfway to your rendezvous point. Look, I'm not gonna lie. It's just gonna be you and your radar out there. Just know, you got a bunch of people pulling for you. No problem. Situation and I'm one of them. No change. You're three-fourths of the way. Been a long fight, but you're nearly home. Harling is still the president in my eyes. Situation report. He added a war, built the space elevator, and launched a spaceship from it. Despite his success, he remained a humble hero. I'll do my best to save him. Let me a hand, Trigger. Rendezvous point dead ahead. Hang in there. Trigger, the first stage of the mission is clear. Don't celebrate yet. The real fight's about to get started. Radio silence is now lifted. The 
auxiliary craft will be arriving shortly. Destroy the anti-air around the space elevator. We're securing Sea Goblin's landing zone. are down. Mage 2, locked. Missile. Break! Missile incoming! Missile. Mage 2, target down. Trigger. Missile. Sorry about the wait. Cavalry's here. Column squadron. Trigger jump through the fire. Now it's our turn. shortly. Missile. Eliminate hostile anti-air before that. Half of the anti-air guns down. Are you intact? All SAM sites down. There are still AA guns. Destroy them and secure the LZ. This is Sea Goblin. We've arrived. Do we have a clear LZ? Mission still in progress. Stand by. Mage 2. Rescue team can't land until anti-air weapons are down. Destroy them. All anti-air guns destroyed. The landing zone is secure. Sea Goblin, you are clear to land. Roger. I'm in point sight. We're almost there. Multiple bandits over Selatapura Harbor. They're container-launched UAVs. Survivors, respond. Is Mr. Harling alive? They got the chopper heading to the air at two! That was so barbaric! That's about half. Mop up the rest. You may be down. Target 
hit. All squadrons be advised. The call sign is Mother Goose 1. I've sent the information via the data link. known I would have need more air stuff, but uh, we'll do it from the checkpoint. Mage Squadron, Mother Goose 1 is heading south. Provide support. Five minutes remaining. Skykeeper, bogey's on my radar. Bearing 220. Sighting confirmed as MQ-101, forerunner for Arsenal Bird. The big bird is coming, huh? Mage, protect Mother Goose 1. Shoot down any UAVs. Gollum, intercept the UAVs. Gollum 1 will kill. That last battle taught me a lot about those a-holes. Gollum 2, don't stray off on me. Always maintain element. Wilco, forming up!
Cardwell did their job. I figured, but why weren't we informed? The IUN can't coordinate between branches as usual. Cardwell Squadron, report. has been shot down. Where'd the missile come from? Mage 2 fired that. It was Ocean. A friendly missile hit him. Verifying the situation. Stop speculating. Friendly fire. I saw it. Mother Goose 1 exploded in air. No one could have survived. Looks like it tried to protect the elevator. Arusian bastards, they just killed a hero. Mage 1, it's a trigger. <sighs> trigger was the closest. UAVs were crawling all over our objective. I told you to keep a goddamn eye on the hatchling. It must have been a mistake. Arsenal Bird is entering. All aircraft withdraw immediately. The operation to rescue former President Harling has failed. Sadly, there is no hope he survived. Trigger, you are suspected of assassinating the former president. There will be an inquiry. There will most probably be a court-martial. Well, shit. <laughs> this is a fine mess. Hey, the straight A street surprise. You got one or more new Mirage skins. Okay, so like I said before, you can unlock skins and alternate stuff by doing op alternate objectives. Right now, I'm just doing a playthrough. Once I get the playthrough done, then I'll look up what they are and I will also try to unlock those as well oh boy I'm in trouble I'm in trouble but for now that is the end of this video once again please click that like button 
And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I need subscribers, please. Once I get it established, I plan on letting the groups choose the games for me to play. And there's even some games you guys will probably laugh at me playing, like the Resident Evils, because I am a big, scaredy piece of shit. Uh, I've already been told by a few friends to play them, and I'm like, nope, nope, not playing them. So we'll see what happens. But for right now, we're doing Ace Combat. Oi. I'm in trouble. <laughs> but we will start with the next mission on the next video. Some of these missions can get quite long, so I will be doing one mission per video from now on. So the next video will only have one mission. But we'll get there. We will get to the end. Thank you for joining me today.